this movie is so different. So I didn't, it wasn't, uh, uh, we were not remaking that movie and that was never the intention. The Haunting Legacy of the Crow returns to the big screen 30 years after the original 1994 film left an indelible mark on Hollywood, marred by the tragic death of Brandon Lee. Now, a new generation of stars is ready to bring this dark tale back to life, with Bill Skarsgård taking on the role of Eric Draven in a modern reimagining that promises to honor the past while forging its own path. At the world premiere of The Crow at Village East by Angelica in New York City, Skarsgård, alongside co-star FKA Twigs and director Rupert Sanders opened up about the challenges of stepping into a role so closely associated with Lee. Daunting is the word Skarsgård used to describe the experience, acknowledging the weight of the legacy he's carrying. But as he stood on that red carpet, it was clear that he was ready to make this role his own. This isn't the first time The Crow has been revisited. With previous remakes in both film and TV, Skarsgård shared. Uh, an iconic performance of tragic, a tragic thing that happened. Yeah. With Brandon, and uh, for me, it was just I approach this like I do any other job, where it's just like, what's this story? How can I do this story justice? The actor emphasized that this latest version is so different from the original that Lee's portrayal didn't influence his approach. This movie is so different, so I didn't. It wasn't. Uh, uh, we were not remaking that movie, and that was never the intention. The movie and his performance is iconic and shouldn't be tampered with at all. Bill Skarsgård is no stranger to intense roles, but his transformation for The Crow takes dedication to a whole new level. The 34-year-old actor recently opened up to Variety about the rigorous diet and exercise regimen he followed to get ripped for the highly anticipated remake of the 1994 cult classic that originally starred Brandon Lee. In this new adaptation, based on James O'Barr's 1989 graphic novel, Skarsgård plays Eric Draven, a man resurrected to seek vengeance on those who brutally murdered him and his fiancée, played by FKA Twigs. But bringing this dark and vengeful character to life required more than just stepping into Lee's iconic shoes. It meant physically transforming his body to fit the role. I'd already been training for quite a while, Skarsgård shared, explaining how he worked closely with his trainer to gradually increase his muscle mass. We kept adding a little bit of weight onto what I'd already be, but I didn't want to be too big either. The challenge was to strike a balance. Eric needed to be strong strong but not overly bulky. It was a tricky one because they wanted the crow to be ripped, but the character Eric shouldn't be, he noted. Skarsgård's commitment didn't go unnoticed by the crow's director, Rupert Sanders. In fact, Sanders was so impressed by Skarsgård's discipline that he often took charge of his meals during their outings. I'd always just order for him because I knew what he was eating, Sanders said. It's basically steak tartare and raw eggs. He was in the gym a lot. He ate very healthily and put us all to shame when we were eating burgers and hot dogs. Skarsgård's rigorous routine wasn't just for show. It had a direct impact on the film's action sequences. Thanks to his intense fitness regimen, Skarsgård was able to perform most of the complex stunts himself, bringing an authentic physicality to his portrayal of Eric Draven. When he's on, he's a real machine of destruction, Sanders said. But also, he played these incredible moments of softness and empathy, which really just give the action sequences a lot more of an emotional connection. Despite the demanding diet, Skarsgård didn't find it too hard to stick to the plan. I really loved what I was eating, so I didn't feel like I had to cheat, he said, though he did admit to celebrating the end of filming with a well-deserved beer. I guess my biggest cheat would be an alcoholic beer. I celebrated after the shoot. In this new rendition, The Crow follows Eric Draven, a man who is resurrected after his brutal murder to seek vengeance on those responsible for his and his fiancé's deaths. But this isn't just a simple revenge tale. Eric is given the chance to save his true love by sacrificing himself, a journey that takes him through the worlds of the living and the dead. Directed by Rupert Sanders, known for his visually stunning films, this reimagining also boasts a stellar cast, including Danny Houston, Isabella Way, Laura Byrne, Sammy Boagila, and Jordan Bolger. With a screenplay crafted by Zach Balin and William Schneider, and production credits that honor the original film's producers, the late Samuel Hadida and Ed Pressman, The Crow is poised to captivate a new generation while paying homage to the dark, tragic beauty of its predecessor. Thirty years after the original The Crow film captivated audiences, the story is being revived, but not without the weight of its tragic past. The 1994 movie, now considered a cult classic, was forever marked by the untimely death of its star, Brandon Lee. The son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee, Brandon was only 28 when he lost his life in a shocking onset accident in 1993. The bullet that should have been a blank took his life, turning a routine scene into a moment of tragedy that would haunt Hollywood. In the aftermath, a criminal investigation ensued, but the district attorney ultimately decided not to bring charges against the production company. The film was completed after Lee's death, and when it was released in May 19 
1994, it became more than just a movie. It became a haunting tribute to the young actor whose life was cut short. Both the original and the upcoming remake are based on James O'Barr's 1989 graphic novel, a dark, brooding tale that seems eerily intertwined with the fate of its first star. Now, with the new film set to reignite the legacy of The Crow, director Rupert Sanders has been mindful of the shadow cast by Lee's tragic death. In a February interview with Vanity Fair, Sanders revealed that Lee's soul is very much alive in this film, acknowledging the terrible tragedy that has loomed over the project. It's definitely something that we've always had in mind through the making of the film, Sanders said, underscoring the respect and reverence with which the new team approached the remake. Bill Skarsgård carries the weight of this legacy as he brings a new interpretation to the iconic character. There's a real fragility and beauty to his version of The Crow, and I think Bill feels like he is a successor to that, Sanders shared, emphasizing the delicate balance of honoring Lee's memory while forging a new path. Brandon was an original voice, and I think he will always be synonymous with The Crow, Sanders added with a sense of solemnity. I hope he's proud of what we've done and how we've brought the story back again. Despite Bill Skarsgård's intense preparation and dedication to his role in The Crow, the film unfortunately failed to resonate with audiences at the box office. Even with the anticipation surrounding the remake and the actor's impressive physical transformation, the movie couldn't capture the magic of the original 1994 film 